Hello and welcome to the AI for Good Global Summit. I'm delighted to be joined by our guest today, who is Uwe Bader, the Director of International Relations at Rode and Schwarz. Welcome. Thank you for having me here. No problem. <laughs> Uwe, tell us, you're exhibiting at the exhibition. What are you doing? That's right, yes. Um, we, uh, we are not only exhibiting, we are part of the security concept. So we have um, a security scanner at the entrance. And well, the story for us is that this security scanner works with AI algorithms. So that is why we th uh, thought it's a, a perfect combination of um, the things that we usually do with the ITU. So we are very much engaged with uh, radio wave technology, measuring uh, radio waves and so on. And this instrument is based on the one hand on a radio technology, but it uses AI and we think uh, that is a perfect combination to exhibit at the uh, AI for Good event. Um, it also has, of course, uh, a lot of features to make this event secure at the end. And uh, so we said, OK, let's not have it only in the exhibition. So let's integrate it into the concept for the security and so that people can really experience by themselves how modern security check can work. How does it work then? What is different? Uh, well, the basic difference is that it works on a kind of radar technology with radio waves. And um, this is done by a lot of radio modules and generates a lot of backscattered data. And we all capture this data and this goes into a well-trained AI algorithm and um, needs a lot of uh, calculation, but we could enhance that so that uh, it can even work in a kind of walk-through um, operation mode. So you don't need to stand still for this event. So we have another product for airports where you need to stand still, where we take a, a scan and this takes about four to five seconds. But, but here you can slowly walk through, and this is especially designed for events like AI for Good, but we had it, for example, at the Munich Security Conference. Uh, we also had it uh, at, um, at, uh, at a stadium for ice hockey games. And, and uh, so these kind of events are the target for these new security scanners. Um, the interesting part is that compared to the classical metal detectors, it um, can detect also other objects which are not out, made out of metal. So a metal detector might be good if you have a metal knife, right? But if you have the same knife made out of ceramics, uh, this detector will not find it. Uh, we can see it, we can detect that, and then of course uh, a manual check can be done. and. The, the, and can be then uh, taken away or whatever. Yeah. Okay. We can also um, detect all other kinds of um, materials like um, explosives, but also if you would intend to uh, smuggle trucks into an event or into a facility, or in um, in let's have a, a factory that is um, producing food. Right. You don't that somebody brings in anything which should not end up in, 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 in a package of uh, cereals or whatever. So uh, you can also see that this event is, uh, this, this place is then having a high degree of uh, security uh, in the production, for example. Okay. And one of the challenges that you spoke to me about was finding young talent. Tell me about that. That's right. Uh, it's another part why we are here. Um, the um, the skills that we need to um, to develop such products, uh, of course, they are changing. Uh, AI is not only in this product. Uh, AI machine learning uh, is used in a lot of other solutions that we do to enhance them, and we need talents which have um, this knowledge, this capacity in uh, in developing AI. I'm not saying using AI because I think 
now younger people are used to um, to have their studies and and w enhanced by AI, you know, when they use ChatGPT or whatever. So, but here for us, it's really that you use AI in the design of a new product. So really, work with it from the fundamentals, and um, this is very important for us. We uh, we uh, we are we are looking for a high number of uh, talents here. We have a lot of open positions in that field, and um, well, uh, we think it's also then a kind of advertisement that these are cool jobs where you can apply the latest um, thing in technology and enhance products and uh, not boring at all. Okay, but not enough university courses, not enough uh, of this teaching at school level. It's uh, hard to say. I mean, uh, a basic uh, mathematical uh, foundation is, of course, needed for AI. That's clear. But I uh, believe we uh, we need to get more specific training courses on that as well. Uh, what we, for example, do, we um, also have uh, engineering challenges, for example, where we uh, take young students from university and have a kind of challenge. So they get a problem. They get a, a set of data, like training data, and then they need to combine that in a solution and uh, you can win a prize at the end. So this is also how to attract them and, and make it more visible what kind of skills are, are needed in this area. What about the challenges of AI for a private company such as yourselves? Well, the one is, of course, uh, talents uh, in that field. However, there are also uh, challenges on how regulation of AI will be done in the future. Um, uh, in, an important topic so far in our products, uh, we are very much working on machine learning on a, on a kind of an engineering level. So at the moment, we don't see that regulation for us is a big issue. However, um, it also needs to be considered in the future as AI is taking more and more uh, part of our social life, of course. And uh, that might be a challenge in the future for, for private companies as and well. Tell me about the importance of a platform such as this summit for the dialogue around AI. Yes, AI is still a new technology. Um, we think uh, a, an event like this uh, brings together a lot of different stakeholders. And uh, we um, like this dialogue between academia, industry, to get ideas with what you can do with uh, this uh, new technology, how it can end up in new products, solutions. And this makes this event very valuable. Okay. Uwe Bader, thank you so much for your time and your insights. There's more coming up on the AI for Good Global Summit here in Geneva.